Nier Automata was not on my radar at all until the whole controversy about the supposed butthole shading happened across my Twitter feed. And obviously, buttholes get my attention. Uh, but no, seriously, it hadn't so much as impinged on my perception at all. Now, it's certainly a very pretty game, and the whole kind of fetishistic y French made cyborg ninja thing certainly does it for me. And the little computer companion you have flying around with you is interesting and adds a few little tweaks and perks to it. But prettiness seems to be pretty much about as, as far as it goes. At least so far as you can tell from the demo. There may be great lore and so on. You know, the backgrounds look lovely. There's clearly been some kind of robot revolt or something. So, you know, there might be some more substance to it. But at the moment, judging on the demo, really, all you can say is that it looks kind of pretty. It plays a bit like a Devil May Cry game. Um, but not one of the really good ones. Not really one of the awful ones, but certainly not one of the good ones. People have been praising the smoothness of the controls, but that's not how I found it. I played on easy to start with, just to have a quick look around without having to worry so much. But on easy mode, it kind of feels like the game takes control for you, and takes control from you. You could be hammering any old button and things would happen anyway. You would win anyway. You might as well replace it with one button and just tap repeatedly to win. I had no real sense that I was playing a game while it was on easy mode. It was kind of playing itself. I guess if that's what you want, that's fine. So then I tried it on normal mode. And in normal mode, you know, just one difficulty step upward. It goes, it swings too far the other way. You no longer particularly feel like you're in control at all. And juggling the direction that the little robot's shooting in and doing your own melee and dodging and everything else all at once becomes a little bit too overwhelming because you've got really two characters to concentrate on, two things to concentrate on. You can kind of default to just holding buttons down, but then what's the point of giving you control in the first place? It just, it's clumsy not very good and kind of throws you off. It's also problematic in that sure indicators in the game don't really exist to tell you what you're supposed to be doing. So when you're facing like a boss or something else and you need to target a particular part of it you don't get a highlight. When you need to dodge you don't get a little warning sign like you do in a lot of games saying press this now to dodge. Nothing like that, no, no hint, no clue, and the collision detection's a bit off as well, so it can be very hard to tell when you're supposed to dodge, when you're supposed to attack, what you're supposed to attack, without using the lock-on, but that only helps with the attacking parts. So, on easy mode, you may as well have just been watching a film, really, and hitting a button, and on normal mode and higher, it just the sudden shift in controllability is, is really jarring and really throws you off. It just feels derivative of a lot of other very similar kinds of games, but not to be executed particularly well. It's pretty, it's got a cool post-apocalyptic sort of look to it. I'll probably end up playing it because the wife was much more impressed with it than I was, and you know, you need something to do occasionally. But really, it just didn't grab me. It just seems kind of... blah. And the prettiness just isn't enough to save it. The novelty of the little robot isn't enough to save it. Sorry, I don't reckon much to it. Maybe I'll be proven long wrong when the actual thing comes out, but for now, I'm really just not impressed. I mean, it looks like there's other stuff to get into, like finding special equipment and changing swords from one to another. There's some kind of vaguely roleplay-esque leveling up thing. I like the aesthetic, I really do. It reminds me of the uh, Journey to the West, um, the sort of sci-fi version of, of Monkey that was done. That was that was very good and the aesthetic reminds me of that. But I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't grab me. I don't particularly like the design of the robots either. They look kind of cartoonish and childish and unthreatening.
but it's pretty but it just didn't come across as a good game and the main obstacle was the controls maybe like I said I'll get proven wrong in the future but for me this isn't one I would buy or play if it wasn't for the fact that someone else is already buying it besides the controls what was really annoying is what you've been watching for the last minute or so this abrupt and sudden camera swing changing the game from a 3d you know f fighting game to a side-scrolling platformer and later on it also swings to look downward vertically onto the action these camera swings are not controllable they are incredibly aggravating and I just hated them <laughs> yeah, pushing on the thumbstick trying to get a better angle on what's going on they're just aggravating it's like it's forcing you to play different games like it suddenly switches to being more of a twin stick shooter like it is now or a side-scrolling platformer which is a game type that I loathe and detest almost as much as I hate horses it's just really aggravating and removes a lot of the sense of, of player agency and not in a good way like mini games can do it's just aggravating especially when combined with the poor controls the boss battle was kind of underwhelming as well I mean you do get an impression of size and scale that you sometimes don't get from other games but it was just badly away to the next cutscene really uh, I doubt I'm spoiling anything since since it's the demo that a lot of people have played but eventually you get your companion's flight suit and again you get switched to a bit of a different game again which is a shift a little bit less aggravating than the others and then you end up flying around shooting him and it gives you a melee attack in flight mode but it doesn't appear to be any way you can get that melee attack to connect which was just aggravating why give me something to do that I can't do I guess maybe outside the demo you can do something with that but in, in the end like like the whole rest of the game you know it looked impressive but in execution it was extremely underwhelming um, too easy in a way and the switching gameplay was was just aggravating so all things considered what what do I think of this game well star wise I mean I love this post apocalyptic aesthetic some of the other sample graphics stuff I've seen show a kind of greened apocalypse which is something I like there were some hints of that in the in the demo but not much um, but the robot design I think lets it down quite a bit so I would give it a four out of five for style for substance I can't really comment on that until we see the final game so I'll just give it an average rating for now it's kind of a placeholder of a three so that gives it a total rating of 7 out of 10 or 3.5 out of 5 so slightly above average mostly because of the style but if you're looking for a game of, of substance then I think you're probably going to end up having to look elsewhere Zang <laughs>